Sunday morning, everybody. It is 9.55 a.m. Sunday morning, November 1st. Uh, the election is in a few days, and yeah, holy cow. Anyway, um, this morning I'm going to print off some more stickers and turn some more things into sticker flakes. I also have today some new designs rolling around in my head that I want to draw out. I also want to finish filming uh, a couple of videos for the new Art Foamies release. Um, I have the journaling part of the fin video finished. I did some jelly printing with the stamps when they first came in, but I didn't film it, film it so yeah. So I'm gonna film it and I'm trying some new filming techniques. So you'll have to tell me if you like them or not. I don't know, we'll see. Um, and uh, I'm gonna print myself an I Voted sticker because I didn't get one in my ballot really bugs me. I want an I voted sticker. I want to stick it on my journal and yeah. So anyway, what's your Sunday morning looking like? I think we're just staying home. We're not going anywhere, which is good because I got a lot of stuff to do. Not to mention laundry and dishes and, you know, chores. All right, that's it for the minute. And by the way, my tooth is feeling fine. I'm on my last day of antibiotics. I'm pretty sure the infection's gone and um, then we commence with drilling and crowning on Wednesday. Joy. All right, I'll be back. Guys, we are out for a walk. It's, I don't know what time it is. 4.30? 4. It's quarter five. Quarter five. Close I got, enough. what? Okay. Close enough. I got...
December 2nd. Um, 2.40 p.m. And, wow. Okay, so I got all of the word prompts and, and um, associated creative jolty kind of things for the two creative Facebook groups done for 2021 this morning before lunch. After lunch, if you're watching this clip, you'll see a few clips of me updating my, oh, where is it, Webster's Pages Planner. I um, got all of the 2021 calendar sheets for my A5 Webster's Pages printed. I made tabs today, um, which is part of what you see in the clips. And um, that's all punched and done. Um, with only a couple of mistakes, which is surprising because usually I make way more mistakes punching all the holes. So, you know, um, I got yesterday so the sticker flakes cut out, at least the ones I had enough sticker paper to print. Um, some of them have uh, mistake prints on the back. Uh, this is the front and um, this is the back. So I'm not going to discount them at all. I hope you all don't mind that. It's kind of like, hello, bonus. You can like stick that down if you feel the need in your journals or whatever uh, with maybe some glue or gel medium. Um, I was having, I don't know, a brain fart yesterday and had trouble printing. But anyway, I've got some of those done. I have a lot more to print, but I need to wait for printer paper. Um, all right, so here I am, sort of. It's not even six o'clock yet. It is black outside. I can't really see where I'm going. Three minutes to clock six. Three minutes to six. So we're gonna go for a walk before dinner. Um, but I need to not vlog while I'm doing it because I can't see where I'm going and I'm afraid I'm gonna trip over something. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna go see what we can see. I don't know that it'll be much because it's black outside. Anyway, I'll be back. Happy election day. <laughs> it's just before lunch. It's 11.40. I got the sticker flakes done. So we have five new sets of sticker flakes coming to the Etsy shop. They're printed, cut, packaged. Um, again, some of them have misprints on the back um, because, you know, evidently I didn't know how to use my printer yesterday that I've had for like 10 years. Anyway, <laughs> I got them all done. Some of them are new large sty size sticker flakes of, we've got one whole set that's skyscapes. And then we've got another sort of miscellaneous everyday objects and nature set, which is cool that you can use for backgrounds uh, on tags and you can use them on, of course, journal pages and all kinds of stuff, really big. You can, you know, tear them uh, and yeah, do some cool stuff with it. This is the ones I'm gonna take downstairs and play with and or um, use in my journal upstairs, so. Anyway, I'm Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, November 4th. A day after election day, we still don't know who our president is and I have a feeling we won't know for a couple of days. In the meantime, I need to go finish my dental work, which is where we're going today. And tomorrow I have to do annual blood work at the doctor's office. So I get to do that this time tomorrow. So joy for me. Okay, I did the couple things upstairs that I needed to do and the Etsy order is out in the mail. Um, I covered the spine of my old Webster's Pages planner that I use for YouTube and the Etsy store and some book binding tape that I painted with fabric paint um, to have it blend in a little better because I only have black or white tape. Um, so hopefully it sticks. Hopefully it isn't sticky. We'll see what happens. Um, worst case scenario, I'm going to decorate the cover and make a plastic slip cover to go over the whole thing. I don't know, we'll see. 
I did order a replacement. They're discontinuing it, I think. But I want to get the most use out of the one I can before I break into the new one that's on the way. And yeah, I'm still, you can tell I'm still numb. Anyway, I am obviously out. Bob is going to probably go to the gym tonight. So I'm going to go for a walk and get some steps in. Got a mask with me in case it's people -y. It's election day, so I'm going to take... I, I shouldn't I'd say, I'm sorry. It's the day after election day. So I'm going to be safe in a number of different ways. <laughs> um, it might be people -y, so hence the mask and... Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna get a few steps in and I will be back. I have lots of projects to do. I've got some more drawing uh, book storage boxes to make. I have slow stitching to do. I've still got that canvas on my easel that I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with. I kind of think I know where it's supposed to go, but I haven't started yet. I have the watercolor lips journal to do. I'm working on a Jean Haynes book. The list goes on, but you know what? I'm not feeling it at the moment. I'm taking a break. I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna get some fresh air, see what I can see. <sighs> yeah, you know, things are crazy because of COVID and now the election and yeah. So nothing wrong with taking a break if you need it now and then. And when I get back, I may finish that Christmas cross stitch I've been trying to finish and read a book or listen to some Star Trek something like that. All right, I'll yes. be back. If you didn't know, I'm a Star Trek fan, not a Star Wars fan. I love Star Trek, especially the old original series. Trouble with Tribbles is one of my favorites. All right, I'll be back to see a few people. Probably don't need to have this on, but out of an abundance of caution, we're going to wear it anyways. I'll be back. Seven p.m. It's still Wednesday. My um, numbing has completely worn off, and it doesn't hurt. But you know how when you've had dental work done and it kind of just feels sore, and um, if you've had a crown put on, you know it feels like there's like popcorn stuff in your teeth, but there's not really. Yeah. Anyway, it feels like that. Um, we're still waiting on election results. I have a feeling it's not going to happen tonight. Maybe not tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, I didn't have much oomph to do much today up here, but I did cover two more. Um, these are K-Cup coffee boxes. We like Emerald's Big Easy Bold. It's our favorite kind of coffee for our Keurig. Um, and the boxes make great um, storage boxes, file boxes, for some of the smaller daily drawing books in art journals. So I save one or two, I don't save them all, but I save one or two, and every now and then I'll cover them with paper, 
um, just painting papers, scrapbooking papers, whatever I have around. And then I'll put some sort of focal point. Here's the one that holds my inspiration journals. And I'll put some sort of focal point and then I'll put a label. In this case, I use my, my label maker. Um, uh, sometimes I handwrite the label, it depends. Um, anyway, so I started the process of covering two more boxes and I took some extra painting papers that I actually made a really long time ago. This is a free little newspaper uh, from when we lived in California called the uh, Potpourri. I think that was the name of it. Anyway, I used to get it. They were free. They came in the mailbox, thin little pieces of newsprint, and I would paint on them. So I took a couple sheets of that I still have, and I cut it up and made it into labels to use on some of the boxes. I also have these solid colored um, stickers that I got on Amazon recently, and these are these are tabs. I'm not going to use them for that. I'm going to just use them as blocks of color, I think, on the front of the boxes. I don't know exactly what these are going to be for, but it's going to be for next year, you know, when I'm hoping some of the craziness is over in the world, right? Yeah. So I'm going to let that dry. Um, it's I cover them usually with Yes Paste. You can see it. It's propped up on stuff drying there. Yeah. Um, and that takes a while to dry completely, so I'm going to just let it dry and let it do its thing. I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to finish my water. I might make a cup of tea and get that cross stitch out. I do need to finish that cross stitch, so I kind of want some chocolate, but I have blood work in the morning, so no chocolate for me. Sucks, but there it is. Maybe chocolate tomorrow. All right, that's it for now. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. We're in the car again. My mouth is still sore from yesterday's dental work. Of course it is, because I had a root canal. Um, but it's okay. I'm headed out though to, uh, as I've been telling people, go get stabbed, um, AKA see the phlebotomist and get some blood work done. Um, so anyway, I have to do my annual blood work. So, which I'm not thrilled about. I don't mind getting the blood work done. It's just that it's COVID and I have to go to the, you know, medical facilities to go do it. So it doesn't excite me. Um, then I'm going to go stop at the grocery store really quick, pick up a couple of things and then go home and have coffee because I haven't had been able to have coffee yet, right? It's the worst part of getting, not getting your coffee. Hey guys. All right. Obviously we're crooked. We're crooked. All right. Um, we're back in the art room. So, um, yesterday I, and um, the couple days before I have been setting up my planner for 2021 because I'm just done with 2020. I don't know, I don't know about you all, but yeah. Um, I have actually one more planner calendar for downstairs I still need to set up, but this one and the one I carry in my wallet generally to remember appointments and stuff, those are both all done. But this is a Webster's Pages Color Crush Planner. I believe the color is Jade. I know it looks turquoisey blue, but they call it Jade. Anyway, um, I've had it for a long time. I really love it, but it's starting to show its wear and tear, its age around the edges. It's starting to fray. And so, especially along the spine. So I did cover it with some book binding tape and I had painted it, but it's staying a little bit sticky. And I'm just looking at it, kind of liking the way it looks with that on there and kind of thinking, how fun would it be to just, you know, sort of cover the cover with decals and you know different things um not necessarily right away but as i as the year goes on but then i'm gonna want to cover protect them and this is like i said sticky so i'm thinking what about a clear plastic sleeve to cover the cover i know for a lot of hobonichi journals you can buy the cover for your hobonichi but then the cover has a plastic protective cover over it and i was watching a video from somebody it might have been my girl and quill or I don't remember who now um, anyway she was showing a brand new one she got for next year and the new cover she got in the protective sleeve and I thought I could make one of these for this probably so we're gonna try it anyways I have a number of these you know you'll recognize it you get bedding and stuff in these right I do save them because they do come in handy for different projects 
Um, sometimes I save the zipper too, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cut this one apart so I get flat sheets of fabric from it. And we're gonna work, I'm gonna work on trying to make a protective sleeve for this. And we'll see how it turns out. I'll be back when I'm done. Is it stitched neatly? Is it the best stitching job I've ever done? No. Do I love it? Yes. Um, I love it. And I love the fact that the um, bedding bag that I used to make this had a pocket in the front, which I decided to save and stick this in there. I love that. And, you know, if I'm going to use this for all or part of 2021, I might as well have fun with it, right? I was able to get everything back in it. Um, I was able to whoops, leave 
pull out the pen loops so I can get my pens still in the um, in the loops, maybe. As I say that, I can't get them in. Um, I love it. It's a, such a great idea. Now, you know, it's not a pattern I'm going to write. It's not a pattern I'm going to draw out for you. But really, um, it's not that hard to make. The biggest thing you want to do is the first, I had to stitch it a couple of times because I made it a little bit too tight and it wouldn't close. So you really want to measure around this way because it's going to be a little longer than when it's open flat. Um, there are lots of tutorials out there for slip on book covers, I believe. In fact, there might even be some on my channel. It's not that different. It's just made out of clear plastic. That being said, when you do make a mistake, you leave holes there. You see that? Um, in the plastic, because it's plastic, it's not gonna seal up. So um, I don't really mind that too much. I'm gonna just leave it and let it go. Um, but yeah, it's cute. Um, if nothing else, if it breaks or tears or rips, I have more of this plastic in the closet and I can always use this one for a pattern for the next one. So anyway, using what I have to make do with what I have because hello COVID. Uh, yeah. So it's, anyway. it is Friday, November 6th. I think it's still morning. Yeah, 11.39, technically still morning. Um, <clears throat> I had a little chat with some art friends this morning. And uh, <laughs> as, as we're semi-joking, not joking, my designated support, emotional support Canadian. <laughs> Laura, thank you for the chat this morning. Barbara too, uh, who also came. Um, that was good. It's good to have people you can talk about art with, share ideas with, but also talk about um, everything else that's going on right now. Anyway, uh, we still don't said but it's Saturday morning it's about 10 40 a.m. and we're headed out to go run some errands we've got to drop off Etsy orders and we need more corn for the deer and groceries and stuff I mean you know it's really the only time we get out of the house anymore is to run errands or go to the dentist or the doctor so it's not very exciting but there you have it all right anyway we're gonna see what we can see and We'll be back.
Hey guys, it's just after nine o'clock on Saturday and I am, well, if you're watching this clip, you've seen the clip where I was painting these. These are, I believe the shape of these is called a stiletto shaped faux fingernail. I um, have a box of them. I think I got them from a wish like a long time ago. Anyway, I make sort of a faux beetle wing. There is a beetle, it's called a green something beetle. I'll put a link in the video description. Um, I believe, but I'm not positive, they shed their wings naturally. And the wings are often used, um, especially in the like 19th century. They were used in embroidery and things. They had holes drilled in them. I think they're still used today. Um, they're beautiful, this beautiful like iridescent green color. Again, check out the link. Um, the shape is intriguing, but I'm not using bug parts in my work. Like that's just not happening. So um, I occasionally paint up a bunch of these fingernails to look like the beetle wings. And um, so I've been doing that. Um, I've got these, they're down on the one side. They're, oops, still white on the back side. But um, I'm running out of black fingernail polish. I don't really wear nail polish anymore. I mean, hello. Uh, but um, yeah, so anyway. So I'm painting faux bug wings. Because, you know, why not? It's 2020. It's COVID. Why not? Um, it's been a hell of a ride this week, hasn't it? Um, but uh, and, and it's not over yet. But, you know, right now, my personal focus is and hope is that we as a world and as a nation can get COVID under control and um, get some kind of handle on that. So things can get back, get back to it, right? Because they can't get back to it if we don't get COVID under control. Anyway. It's been a wild ride, but you know, we're staying creative. We're doing what we can to um, have those meaningful conversations that we need to have with people and not avoid those tough situations and dealing with it how we can and how we need to. And you know, it's gonna be a weird holiday season. We're probably most of us not gonna see the majority of our family because you know, it's recommended you don't do that this year. You need to stay home. Um, you don't know who you could be bringing COVID to and, you know, you don't know who there who could have it. They could be asymptomatic. You just don't know. So it's going to be really strange. Anyway, despite all of that, I am going to keep making art and I'm going to keep being here for you all. And we will keep up the discussions and my teeth are feeling better. So I'll be able to go live again soon. Uh, I will be getting my permanent crowns in at some point, but the majority of the issue is fixed and it's all good. And I'm just sitting here pulling, you know, fingernails off. I know you can, probably can't see very well because it's kind of dark in here because it's nine o'clock at night. But you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I think this year I am going to spend some time doing things I haven't done in a long time, like my adventures with slow stitching. And I think this year for the first time ever, we're gonna write a holiday letter. We're gonna send it off to a few people for Thanksgiving. I think we'll edit it just a little bit and probably include a copy of it in our Christmas cards and let everybody know, look, we would love to see you, but we can't. And you know, for so many reasons, but we hope you have a great one and we hope to see you soon when this COVID thing is all under control. And, you know, I think writing a little snail mail note's not a bad idea. You know, sending everybody an email or text message or posting on Facebook is one thing, but an actual old fashioned note with a stamp. Doesn't have to be too many, just do five or six of your closest people. I think it's a good idea. Maybe pick, Pick a friend or family member that you haven't talked to much or that lives far away or, you know, that you're just losing contact with because of COVID or maybe not just because of life and maybe ask them if they want to be a pen pal, right? 
So anyway, think about it. There's lots of things we can do together as a world community to help us all get through and to help us all stay safe. Uh, and I'm here to help you as are I know many others. So that being said, I want you to support the free content if you can and you're able. There's links for the ways to support my free content down in the description below. There's a link tree list of links, which includes my Etsy shop and um, the um, tip jar and Patreon and all of that stuff. There's lots of different ways. There's even the YouTube community here on YouTube. It's not, I think it's 99 cents. It's not much. Um, and all your favorite creators, most of them have a way to support. And I know they'd appreciate it because we're all... You're struggling, but so are we. So I know they'd appreciate it. And most of us bring you free content on Facebook too in the art group. So I know we'd really appreciate it. Um, the most important thing, of course, to, is to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Even if it's just turning all the devices off for a few minutes and turning on some music and just being at peace with things. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. All right, that's it for this week. I'll be back with you next week. I'm going to paint a few more fingernails, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.